In question 20, we're told there are only red sweets and yellow sweets in a bag, and that there are N red sweets and there are eight yellow sweets. Sajid is going to take at random a sweet from the bag and eat it, and he says that the probability that the sweet will be red is 7 over 10. And in part A, we need to show why the probability cannot be 7 over 10. So we'll start by supposing that he's correct. Now, firstly, since there are n red sweets, there must be n plus 8 sweets in total in the bag. So the probability of obtaining a red sweet is equal to n over n plus 8. And since we know this is equal to 7 tenths, we can write n over n plus 8 equals 7 over 10. Now, if we cross multiply, we obtain eventually that 3n equals 56, and therefore n equals 56 over 3. But this equals something that's not a whole number. In fact, it's 18.6 recurring. However, n has to be a whole number because it represents the number of red sweets. And so he cannot be correct. Now, after Sajid has taken the first sweet from the bag and eaten it, he's going to take at random a second sweet from the bag. Now, we're given that the probability that both the sweets he takes will be red is three fifths. And in part B, we need to work out the number of red sweets in the bag, showing all our working. OK, so the probability of obtaining a red then a red, we've been told is three fifths. Now, of course, after he takes the first sweet, this suggests we have a without replacement situation. So although there were N red sweets to start with, out of a total of n plus 8 sweets, when he goes to randomly select a second sweet, there will be n minus 1 red sweets out of a possible total of n plus 7 sweets. Therefore, n over n plus 8 multiplied by n minus 1 over n plus 7 equals 3 fifths. Now, we can write this as n times n minus 1 over n plus 8 times n plus 7 equals 3 fifths. And we can expand the brackets on the top and the bottom of the fraction on the left hand side. And this reduces to n squared minus n over n squared plus 15n plus 56 equals 3 fifths. And now we can cross multiply. And after expanding and simplifying, we get 2n squared minus 50n minus 168 equals 0. Dividing through by 2 n squared minus 25n minus 84 equals 0. And of course, this factorises as n plus 3 times n minus 28 equals 0. Ordinarily, the solutions would be n equals negative 3 and n equals 28. But of course, n cannot be negative given the context of the question. Therefore, n must be 28. There were 28 red sweets in the bag.